how to clean and rebond a frontal part of a hair system. Guys, welcome to my channel, Hair System DIY here. Uh, as always, um, New Lace CU, 20% discount on your first system. Guys, this can make a massive difference. 20% with a hair system, a lot of money off. So, New Lace CU 20, go on the website, newlacecu.com, enter New Lace CU 20 in the coupon code box when making your order. So, today I'm gonna to do a tutorial about how to basically remove, clean, and rebond the system. It's gonna be quite a long video, guys. I'm gonna go quite in depth. Um, so, just giving you a heads up on that one. So, I've got all my tools. Got my comb, always recommend one of those. Got a hair clip. This is to hold the hair up, but also I use hair clips to actually push the frontal part of the system down once the glue is set and cured. Ghost Bond. I'm always using this at the moment for lace base. I find it really good for a lace base. Not so much for a poly, definitely for a lace. And um, I always use these as well. So these basically, oh, by the way, always make sure these are clean um, because otherwise you're gonna end up with random bits of hair and glue, old glue on your head. Um, so yeah, I always use these little sort of dippy art things. If anyone knows what they're called, comments box please. Um, and then Pro Touch. You know what, guys? I can't find this online anymore. Enlighten me. Have they stopped manufacturing it or something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've had to get a different brand. Anyway, so this is the base. This is basically the adhesive remover. So isopropyl alcohol. Never forget that one. Great for cleaning things up. Okay, so what I always do is. Just to add as well, I've had this on, just the front, well I've had this system on, I haven't even changed the front for about two weeks. And you kind of know when you need to redo the frontal when like dry bits of glue just start sort of sitting just beneath the surface or just beneath the, the front of the hair system. That's when you kind of know it's probably about time that you gave it a clean the rebond. So just spraying it all there. Look at that nice shiny, shiny head. Excellent, okay. So, there we go. Just wanna make sure in the mirror. Yep, okay, so I've pretty much got all of it off. Cool. Look how much glue is on there. Gross. Okay, now, I do also use an Alice band just to hold the hair out of the way. It's also super important because um, when you're putting the glue back down, uh, the last thing you want is the hair flipping back down before the glue is dried. Uh, especially with a lace system, fucking nightmare guys. Don't do it. Um, you can get these for a couple of quid in Boots, Superdrug, um, Walmart, anywhere. Worthy investment. So what I always start with is I just sort of spray some of that lovely adhesive remover just on the scalp. Just wait a few seconds. As you can see, it's nice and wet. And then I literally just start wiping it with some cotton wool balls. Eesh. It is really gross stuff once it's been on for a couple of weeks. It really is. What I also do is, when it starts getting really gloopy, I usually just run a towel over my head. So you just want to make sure you're getting all of that excess old glue off. Eesh. It is gross stuff. It really is. I genuinely, I generally find this way the most effective way of getting all the glue off. Just using, just rubbing cotton wool ball, balls over it several times, just to make sure of it's coming off. There we go. Now, for some people who've got a fair bit of hair on the top, they might just need to give it a quick shave just to make sure there's nothing growing through too much. To be honest. I think I can probably get away with not doing that this time. 
because there's not really enough hair there to be concerned about. I might speed this little bit up just to spare you the boredom of watching this whole piece. But what I'm going to keep doing is basically I'm just going to keep rubbing it down with cotton wool balls and then um, I'm going to basically start dabbing it with isopropyl alcohol just to make sure it's totally clean. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to speed up this part of the video. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I've cleaned it off the skin, I've cleaned the excess glue off the skin. Now, slightly trickier part, part two. This is when I start cleaning the glue. As you can see, there's quite a bit of residue on the actual lace itself. So it's literally as simple as doing exactly the same procedure, but on the lace base now. So literally what I always do I always just try and push that excess glue along the base of the system just so it gathers together just so I can clump it all together and then I just start pulling it off it's literally as simple as that sometimes I give it like oh I give it like a little bit of a spray as well just to loosen Loosen up that glue. Then, yeah, perfect. See the adhesive remover, it does a really good job just loosening up all of that old glue. And I just push it to the side, let it accumulate. And it's not coming off, simple as. I'm going to speed up this part of the video again. Usually takes me about 10 15 minutes, depending on how much glue there is, just to make sure that it's all gone. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video. I've got the glue out of the system and now it's part three so this usually involves isopropyl alcohol um, and cotton wool balls so just to give it a nice little clean really um, making sure because this is another thing guys if you want your system to stick really well you've got to make sure it's as clean as possible before you actually put either tape or glue on it again you really want it to be squeaky squeaky clean as clean as you can possibly get it. Don't use too much alcohol though because it is quite harsh on the skin. It has like a drying effect. So, um, as I said, don't go overkill on it, but just sort of maybe give it maximum one or two coats just to make sure you've got no glue left. Yeah, awesome. Okay. What I also do at this point is just to make sure there's no glue that gets, no excess old glue gets stuck in my hair. I always just use a separate mirror, get the comb out and just comb out any bits of cotton wool I can find in or around the hairline. Super important guys, because otherwise you're gonna end up with loads of cotton wool in your hair. 
and it'll look a bit stupid, okay? So you just wanna make sure that it's free of any remnants of that, as you can see. So it has come out on the comb, so it's totally worth doing. Um, I always find that awesome. Okay, so another thing is I always just pull it back to where the tape starts, super important. Uh, you don't want to be pulling off any excess tape it's really hard to get back on without having to remove the whole system. Um, okay, so that's looking good at the moment. It's looking pretty clean. Um, did it quicker than I thought it would take. Um, now I'm just going to give it one more just to make sure. One more layer of isopropyl alcohol just on the scalp. Not on the lace, by the way. Never on the lace, because it alcohol damages a lace base, so keep it off the lace, guys. I'd just like to add as well that this system itself is about five months old now, and it's still going strong, Swiss lace. Um, so it just shows that if you take care of your system, you can really get a good amount of longevity out of it. Um, it's still pretty full, pretty thick, um, and yeah, super, super happy with it. I reckon I can get at least another two months out of it. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Now what I do at this point is, just for my finger, just to make sure there's no sticky bits, which there aren't. There's a little bit on my forehead, so just one more. Layer just around here, just around the forehead. This is quite often where glue accumulates. It's like it, it's like it gets forced out by the system after a while, and I'm not sure if that's because of sweat or just the way your skin works. I'm really not sure, but it does always seem to happen that way, and it just seems to seep down your head. Um, so be mindful of that, guys. Um, both sort of new users and existing users alike. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Clean towel. Just make sure that it's all dry. Step four, rebond. So, um, I don't usually use a crayon. Uh, I know that some people do to measure where their hairline is or would be. Uh, I don't bother doing that um, just because I haven't got around to getting a crayon yet. I will do it eventually, but at the moment I just use a comb and I make sure that I get an indent in my head so I know exactly where the system is going to be landing, basically. So. I find having a second mirror when it comes to this kind of stuff is just super important. Just noticed a little bit of, just a little bit, ever so slight bit of cotton wool. You will find with a lace base that you do have hairs coming through the bottom of the base, especially if you've had the system for a while. Um, a really good product for that is basically like Not Sealer. Um, I really recommend Not Sealer. Walkers do a good one. Uh, a couple of other brands I think Tree Tape have their own brand. Um, not quite as good. Walkers is the one I'd really recommend. Um, it's worth the investment. It really is. It does. It does make sure that a whole lot of hair stays in your head. Okay, so I just pull it down to where my hairline would be. Push it down. Give it a little brush. Ooh. Excess hair coming out there. Okay. This is normal, by the way, guys. You will always have hairs falling out. You know, when you're either washing it, cleaning it, rebonding, it's just it's a natural part of the process. So I wouldn't be concerned if you find you're having that. Um, okay. So as you can see, kind of goes down to about there. Yeah. So I put my finger where the hairline is and I just beneath that just press the comb this can be a bit sore if you use a comb um, but it does stick you will see the indent for quite a while so just hold it there for about 10 seconds okay 
Yep. Okay. And as you can see, there's an end in there. Okay. Right. And then from there, it depends on what your hairline is, whether it's a sort of slightly receding one where you've got a widow's peak, whether it's a flat hairline. I've got a fairly flat one. Um, just want to make sure that it's as flat as it can be and that I'm getting the indentations right. And that gives you a much better idea of where you're going. And to be honest, it's not too bad, like putting too much glue is in too far down because you can just remove it. You can, need a, a, you can use adhesive remover just to get rid of that. The problem is if you don't put on enough because then you'll have bits that come up. Um, so I'd say do more than too little. I'd always encourage doing more than too little otherwise you'll just have bits coming up and you'll have to do it all again, but just for the flap, it'll take you another 20 minutes, which you could be doing something else. Okay. Just wanna make sure that's tickety-boo. Yeah. When I'm looking over there, it's because there's another mirror over there. When I'm looking at you guys, it's all I have is my phone to sort of reflect what I'm seeing, which is quite small. So, there we go. Okay, so now we've got the indents, really important to hold the hair back, okay, cool, so, ghost bond, Oof. okay, so, get out my little paint stick thing, glue stick, just put, not a massive amount, something like that, and then literally, just dabbing it, like that, so now you know where the hairline is, and literally, just like an artist, just like painting it, few brush strokes okay now every different adhesive will have different drying times different curing times some will say put one layer some will say put especially the solvent ones the solvent ones don't seem to require as many layers ghost bond is water-based so it does tend to require more layers but I'm not really keen on solvent based just because of the chemicals you get in them. They do give a bit a better hold though. So if you're not fussed about the chemicals, um, I'd say go solvent based. It does give you a better hold. I know people who are getting holds of like four or five weeks out of solvent based. Um, water based is more like one to two weeks, I'd say. So with Ghost Bond, it does dry pretty quickly, but it does require more layers. So. Ghost Bond is about four layers. Well, that's what I usually do anyway, and I'm pretty sure the instructions say the same. Um, but once the layer's dry, which usually takes about 30 seconds, then you can put another layer on. So as you'll see, I've just been doing the hairline. I will do more further back, just to give it a more solid hold. There we go. So you can be a bit more generous around here. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Also, when you're rebonding, try and keep out of the rain, don't have a shower for at least the next 24 hours, I'd say, just because the glue hasn't properly cured yet and you might end up having to rebond the next day, which you don't want. Um, so I'd always say, just try and keep away from sweating yeah, keep away from saunas or rain. Rain's probably okay, as long as it's not too hard. Um, but not within at least 12 hours, I'd say, of rebonding. 
Sometimes that's unavoidable. Maybe you always just take out an umbrella with you. Um, that's what I tend to do, or like a hoodie or something. Okay, so now I'm doing layer two. Okay. You can still see the lines that I've indented in my head. And also you can still see a bit of, use that as your guide, that's what I do. Okay. And sort of going back to what I said earlier as well, it's always better to have too much than too little. So as you can see, I've sort of overstepped the mark a little bit, but that's no problem because once I actually put it down, um, put the system back down, um, I can just literally apply a bit of alcohol to a cotton wool ball and just wipe off the excess um, glue. Okay, so this is layer two. Okay. Look how quickly it dries as well. It does dry very quickly, this, this adhesive. Okay. I do this two more times, and the last layer, so layer four, I usually leave for about five to seven minutes just to make sure it's fully cured. But this time, just to save time, I'm just going to do three. So this is going to be my last layer. I find pushing up just seems to, everyone's different, but for me I just find pushing it up more effective. Just around that side as well. There we go. As you can see, I am doing a bit of overkill on it, but it's because I don't want too little. Better to have too much than too little. So it's been about seven minutes since I applied the last layer um, of ghost, ghost Bond. Uh, so it's kind of feeling like it's cured. Um, there's no sign of the, the whiteness of the glue, so I always use that as a sign that it's time to basically pull the system down. Um, and get it properly rebonded. So the way I always do it is I pull from the back and pull forward just to try and avoid getting those creases, okay? Now with a lace base, Swiss lace, you might not be able to be this aggressive with a thin skin poly, poly thin skin, but with a lace, you can be a little bit more aggressive. So just give it a nice stretch. And about each, and then you can just roll it down, literally. And you can just hold it in certain places for a couple of seconds just to make sure it's sticking like that, like that. Cool. And then just pushing it down. There we go. Bring it all down. There we go. Just holding it down for about 10 seconds. Just looking in another mirror. Another one. There's so many mirrors in this bathroom. It's perfect for a hair system wearer. Um, especially when you cut your own hair. I will do a video on that at some point. Uh, like a sort of tutorial. Not tutorial, but how I do it anyway. Um, cool. As you can see. Oh, no, I did. There is glue there. I thought I'd missed a bit, but... Just holding that down, okay, cool. Now, I'm not guaranteeing this is gonna be perfect, but, yeah, looks all right. I always like to have my hair up in a sort of quiff to the side, cool. And all in all, that took about half an hour 
try and avoid spraying um, leave-in conditioner on it for about 12 hours, 24 hours, um, just because I don't want to get the glue wet. It's literally just cured. Um, you've probably spent about 20 minutes to half an hour rebonding the thing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that guys. Um, that is a frontal rebond tutorial, or the way I do it anyway. Hope you're enjoying my content, hair system DIY. Please subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.